Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Hitman. If you enjoy this video, please cold call random phone numbers and ask them if they've considered converting to Pelicanism. If they say no, call them trash and say that your dad owns Microsoft and that you're going to get them banned, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So today we are going to Miami to assassinate Wu Yang. Kind of like Wu Tang, but the only thing being wrapped here is some spring rolls. Wow, nothing like a bit of casual racism to kick off the video Video, please like and subscribe. And also, if anyone from YouTube HQ is watching, that was a joke. I'm well aware that Chinese people can do more than just roll spring rolls. Like they're also Kung Fu masters who can solve complex maths equations faster than you can say, Ni Hao. So today is an escalation contract, which means we're revisiting the global innovation supercar race. I've decided to wear Agent 47's timeless black fitted suit with the blood red tie that literally screams, hey, I'm an assassin who's here to kill you. I'm also bringing some pretty classic gadgets. The iconic silver bowler, but with a 2019 PC appropriate weapon skin, some emetic poison, which makes people throw up, and every sneaky stepdad's favorite little doohickey, a lockpick. I start to walk up to the main entrance, but then notice that this woman is smoking. Does she not realize that she's about to be in a YouTube video that some impressionable people might watch? I best teach my young viewers a valuable health lesson about smoking. So seriously, if you smoke too many cigarettes, you won't get emphysema or anything, but a bald white man will gun you down in the streets. So for obvious reasons, I restart the mission, and now we face the challenge of getting inside the racing event. I can't just walk in as I will be frisked by the guard, and I have a weapon in my pants. Haha, <laughs> get it? Double entendres about penises, are hilarious. Fortunately though, all those 6am spin classes Agent 47 has been taking are starting to pay dividends and I am able to easily jump over the wall. There's some staff having a smoko break out the back and so I pick up a hammer and get ready to make a play. I toss the hammer but accidentally a little bit too far and it hits the truck setting off its alarm, a calculated maneuver. The staff member I was trying to distract doesn't seem too phased by any of this for some reason and so there I am now with no hammer, no way to slip past unseen, and no dad. I decide I'll try to retrieve my hammer as the woman is distracted smoking, but she sees me and runs off to get help. Let me remind you that Agent 47 is a genetically enhanced human created from the DNA of five different criminal masterminds so that he could be the world's perfect super assassin. And yet here he is, currently trying to hide in a filthy street bin while two part-time security guards and a promo girl who quite clearly know exactly where he is and patiently wait for him to find his maturity so that he gets out of the bloody dumpster and they can escort him from the premises. I eventually do get out of the bin and I'm taken back to the public area, but hey, the good thing about hitting rock bottom is the only way is up from here. I jump the wall again, but this time I don't mess around trying to distract anyone with a hammer, I just shoot her in the head. I told you kids, you start smoking and a bald white man will kill you. I'm then able to slip past the security guards and pick the lock right next to this big chief and he's smoking too. Is IO Interactive Studios sponsored by Malbros or something? Almost every NPC is a chain smoker. There's some underhanded subliminal messaging going on here for sure. I mosey on into the building and it seems I've broken into the security office for the event which works out well enough for me. There's a guard trying to work a photocopier and honestly I can relate to his frustration. We had this photocopier at my old job and I would like try to scan something double sided but the margins would be off or one side would print opposite to the other and somehow I'd always get in these kerfuffles and end up accidentally scanning a silhouette of my penis to everyone in the office. Anyway, hopefully this disguise allows me access to most of the map. And at last, I've made it to the VIP area and I sure do feel like a very important person. So let's scout this place out and then find and kill Wu Yang. I spot this couple having a nostalgic moment as they look at this white van. The man tells his wife that he had a van just like this before he was added to the sex offender list. It's so cute when couples learn new things about each other's past. We need to focus though, and also we have to kill Wu Yang in quite a specific way. We have to be wearing a mechanic's disguise and the death has to look like an accident, so we'll have to get creative with how we handle this. I'm genuinely so happy they included escalation contracts because these maps are just so damn good and immersive that having an excuse to explore them more is perfect. Like look how realistic this is, they've got Amy Schumer walking around the event and she's not saying anything funny. That kind of attention to detail is amazing, I feel like I'm really 
nearly there. I locate the Kowoon garage, but unfortunately my disguise is no good here, so I'll have to keep a low profile. And then there's the big man himself, Wu Yang. Given this is a garage, there should be plenty of ways to cause an accident of some kind. Like here's a gas tank and an electrical generator that could work out perfectly, but I'll need to find a wrench to loosen the valve. Ah yes, look at this man operating his computer like an alpha male by standing on top of it and just air typing. You can tell this man knows his way around a vagina, but my focus is on you, Yang. So I need to get myself a mechanics disguise, a wrench, and laid. I head into a little storeroom and find a crowbar and a two litre water bottle. Now spank my ass and call me Papa Pelly because that is one impressive water bottle and I'm extremely happy to know at least one of these mechanics is taking their hydration seriously. I notice on the map, one of the Kowoon mechanics is walking somewhere and so I follow him and it looks like Kowoon has their own building. I honestly have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but the neat thing about being a YouTuber is that if you do mispronounce something, 500 people will mercilessly roast you for it in the comments. Sure enough, this guy is having a few brewskis, which is incredibly irresponsible as the race is still going. And take a long hard look in the mirror mate, your team is relying on you, but more importantly, I can spike his beer. I head upstairs and the Kowoon gang are all celebrating, so I guess the race is actually over now, and they won, so congratulations on winning an endurance race, literally the gayest type of race there is. That's not why I came up here though, I'm here for that waiter's outfit, and so I take a pretty huge risk and choke him out, and take his disguise. You see, you can't be seen putting pills in someone's drink as a security guard, but as long as you're a waiter, no one suspects a thing, they just assume you're whacking a Barocca in there, not 500 grams of Oxycontin. I find a good spot to wait for the mechanic to sip his now spiked beer and decide this would make a nice thumbnail, but then this rude lady gets in the way. Don't you hate it when you're trying to get a nice family friendly thumbnail and a thick booty gets in the way? It's so frustrating, but it happens on like all of my videos. Honestly, what are the chances? Anyway, old mate drinks his oxy beer and feels really sick and then stumbles his way over to the bathroom. While he is throwing up, I choke him out and try to hide the body, as in I just leave him on the bathroom floor. I guess let's just hope none of these 200 or so people People need to use the bathroom in the next like 45 minutes. So feeling pretty kipper in my new outfit, I stroll back to the Kowoon garage and guess who's not there anymore? Wu Yang, the crafty son of a virgin. In fact, he is on the other side of the racetrack for some reason, so I guess I'm heading over there now. Super glad I spent all that time orchestrating a most likely over-engineered plan to get this mechanics disguise only to have Wu Yang go for a little walk. So I jog over to his location and I do mean jog. Agent 47 is happy enough to scale the side of a building or shatter someone's eye socket with one punch. Hell, he'll even dress up like a naughty nurse if he has to, but apparently running any faster than a soft jog is where he draws the line. I find Yang again just standing there like a stunned mullet. It's going to be hard to kill him, let alone make it look like an accident here, but I guess we'll die trying. I hop around to the side of the building and try to sneak through that way, but this guy spots me. Now I don't know much, but I know that this guy's name is probably Nathaniel. Look at that face. That's the face of someone called Nathaniel. So yeah, I don't really see any way out of this situation other than stabbing Nathaniel with this screwdriver and so I proceed to reluctantly do this. Sorry champ, it's just business. I make my way around to see if I can get an angle on Yang and I kid you not, the whole bloody Kowoon gang that I guess I am now a part of is leaving. Are you serious lads? Now I have to live with the fact that I just stabbed Nathaniel with a screwdriver for no reason. I pause the game to get a chilled glass of water in real life, but notice the disguise I'm meant to be wearing for the kill condition is that of a Kronstadt mechanic, aka the red guys, not a Kowoon mechanic, aka the yellow guys. Wow, that was a huge oversight. So there I am in the wrong outfit following the lads and this dude just walks through the wall. Who does this Malacca think he is, Harry Potter? I found platform nine and three quarters and this time it's not even an exaggerated metaphor for my Johnson. So I race back to the garages and find the Kronstadt one and choke out a mechanic here. It's a little bit risky, but I'm well past the being careful stage. I take his outfit, dump the body, steal the wrench from the salty red boys and prepare for operation Yeet Yang. 
I head back to the gas cylinder conveniently placed next to the generator I found earlier and use the wrench to create a gas leak. I then turn off the generator which turns off some machinery in the garage and wait for him to come and investigate. Sure enough he comes around and when he fiddles with the generator he is exploded and killed. Which would have been the perfect murder had he been my target Wu Yang and not just a random mechanic. I quickly hide while the area is investigated by security. I don't think I need to tell you legends that this is far from an ideal situation as I now need to find another way to set up an accidental kill. I wait for the heat to die down and search around the garages and fortunately find a propane tank. This is quite honestly me just sending it at this point as I have no idea if this will count as an accident. I place the flask next to Yang and then realize he is talking to himself and about to discover what the final digit of pi is. Haha, <laughs> more Chinese maths jokes. Anyway, Good night, Yang. Wow, that was super anticlimactic. I guess that's a safety feature and those things don't explode. So Yang runs off to get help and Agent 47 stands there looking embarrassed. I realize I'm going to have to just kill everyone else in the garage until it's just Yang left. So I use a hammer to lure them around the corner and proceed to just shoot them in their dumb little heads. The agency wants Yang's death to be an accident, but they never said anything about these other guys. So when forensics get here, they'll be like, all the other mechanics were shot in the head by a crazy man, but Yang's death well, that was most definitely an accident. Luckily for me, Yang has the spatial awareness skills of a baked potato. Like, isn't he wondering where his buddies are? Then I realize I can just knock him out and drag his body somewhere. Boy, oh boy, this mission has been executed with such precision and class, it makes Operation Desert Storm look like a backyard sandpit. I drag Yang's body next to a red gas tank as red in video games equals big explosion. I loosen her up and then shoot the gas tank, triggering a blast that fortunately can as an accidental kill for the contract complete. It wasn't pretty, but we got it done, and with Yang down, that's a GG in the chat, boys. A zero out of five stars, though, but I mean, that's to be expected. We poisoned a man, we shot a promo girl, exploded an innocent mechanic, executed a few other mechanics, and stabbed a dude called Nathaniel with a screwdriver. Thanks for watching, you bloody legends, and a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.